Hi, welcome to CART TV. I'm Neil Schneider. I'm here with Pilates instructor Shante and her assistant Kai. Today she's going to show you a great exercise for when you've been sitting in a chair all day, the back extension. So most but not all of us have desk jobs, but most of us in general are also just sitting a lot of the time rounding our shoulders forward. So back extension is critical in terms of strengthening your posture muscles, getting you to stand up tall, have good poise, but also muscle balance around your joints, specifically with the spine and the shoulders. In back extension, we want to start laying down on your mat on your belly. So I'll get Kai to lay down here on his belly. And we're gonna work through, again, the modifications going up to the hardest one. So here we're gonna start in our easiest modification. So have your elbows down by your side here, Kai, and then have your hands just below the shoulders. Good, so now Kai has his hands on the mat with splayed fingers outwards. As much of his hand is down on the mat, pressing through the palm of his hand, he's gonna allow his head to just stay hovering above the mat. He wants to lift his belly up, so the low back muscles are gonna to wanna to take over. Back extension is its natural curve in the low back, so the back muscles are gonna try and dominate. Do your best to not let the low back muscles take over. So Kai here is gonna tuck his tail, squeezing his glutes so that the legs are active and his hip bones are being dug into the mat with his glutes. Belly button is lifting up against gravity, so his belly button is drawing upwards to his spine, up off the mat, and then putting a bit more pressure into his hands, he's just going to allow his eye gaze to go upwards, past the front of the mat, maybe just in front of the mat here on this wooden plank here, okay? Good, opening up though from his breastbone. So he's gonna shine his breastbone forward like I am pulling his breastbone out. You don't have to come up that high, so keep down on the mat so that the low rib cage is just engaged with the mat. Introducing the back extension, he's gonna then lower his chest down slowly and lengthen out. So head is just going to hover above the mat. So just tuck your chin a little bit. There you go, hovering above the mat here. So again, putting some pressure through the palms, he's going to start with eye gaze. Eye gaze lifts up a few panels forward just above the mat, and then he's gonna shine his breastbone up by putting pressure in the mat and utilizing his arms as well to help his posture muscles kick in. But squeezing his shoulder blades together, and again, opening the chest and being long in the neck. This is a nice curve here. So now, from tail all the way up to his head, he's having this nice bowl curve equally. Slowly lengthening down, he's gonna melt his rib cage down into the mat, but lengthen out long, okay? So you're not just lowering. And then moving on to some harder progressions here. Kai's gonna have his hands stacked one on top of the other with his forehead on his hands. So you can move, good, his hands up a little bit. Again, resetting up in your position. Legs are active, his toes are pointed. Legs are engaged, but most importantly, his glutes are engaged so that the hip bones are digging down into that mat. Again, please try not to let the low back muscles take over. Belly button has to draw upwards. And then for this one, it's gonna be a long hover like a dart. So instead of kind of coming up like he's opening his chest forward, instead he's going to hover his body long and low. Okay, so Kai, put some pressure on your hands into your forehead so that you're pulling your hands up against gravity. Elbows will lift up towards the sky as well. Good, that's probably high enough. So he is just hovering above the mat. Then again, he's still long. So now Kai, tuck your tail a little bit, lift up in the belly and have your legs both lift off the mat an inch. Good, here he's totally supporting himself with the backside muscle chain that's holding his whole back up. These are your posture muscles up here, but then obviously some glutes are involved as well. So Kai, you can stay here for maybe one more breath, taking a big breath in, and lowering equally down to the mat, lengthening out, fully relaxing. Progressing on to the full breast stroke, which is our full back extension and the harder modification, he's gonna start with his hands like we had before, underneath his shoulders. But this time, instead of having his hands touching the mat, they're gonna hover. So his hands are hovering an inch. Good, notice how from his head to his toes, he's in a long line. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes, Kai, and lift up in the belly button so that 
the back muscles are a little bit softer. Good, so from here, he's gonna reach his arms long in front of him. Arms are long, good. And then as he floats his head, neck, and shoulders up, so your eye gaze starts to lift, hands will sweep down by his sides and he's opening his breastbone forward, shining your breastbone out. So lift up a little bit higher, shining the breastbone forward. Eye gaze is gonna be higher than before. And then he bends his elbows back into his sides. Fingertips will face forward. Good, hovering back above the mat. So one more progression here. He's just gonna keep his arms down. Make sure you're lengthening back out when you pull those elbows back in at your sides. So when you return back to your starting position, Kai here is gonna be in a nice long dart line with his forehead hovering above the mat. He's gonna reach his fingertips long. As he sweeps his arms around to the side, he's shining his breastbone up. Good, lifting up off the mat, squeezing his shoulder blades together. And as he tucks his elbows in, fingertips come underneath the shoulders. He lengthens and lowers back to his hover, just like a dart. Good, and then Caillou can bring your hands down here and fully relax. Okay, so really important to make sure you're keeping your glutes engaged, not letting that low back take over, because again, that is its primary curve. It's gonna wanna take over. Make sure the belly button lifts up and you're lengthening back to a long dart line at the end. Thanks for tuning in to CART TV. I'm Shantae, a certified Stop Pilates instructor, and those are your different back extensions modifications, and breaststroke prep.